Our scripture reading this morning comes from the book of Revelation. The bulletin says Revelation 15, 1 to 8. We're actually going to take Revelation 15 and 16 together. Revelation 15 is a relatively short chapter. 16 is normal, so it's a little bit longer reading today, but I think uh, having surveyed the passage, it's best to take this all as one sermon. So we'll read 15, then into 16. 29 verses total, so not beyond your typical length for a New Testament reading. Again, our reading will begin in Revelation chapter 15, the section dealing with the seven angels, seven plagues and bowls of God's wrath. We'll begin reading in verse 1. And as I read, I remind you that this is not merely the words of a man, but the inspired words of God himself. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, for with them the wrath of God is finished. And I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mingled with fire, and also those who had conquered the beast and its image and the number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass with harps of God in their hands. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. We will not fear, O Lord, or who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. After this I looked, and the sanctuary of the tent of witness was opened. And out of the sanctuary came the seven angels with the seven plagues, clothed in pure, bright linen with golden sashes around their chests. And one of the 